Hey, this is Giotto, our goo um, EFI vacuum. It looks like a G, but all their fancy. And cleaned all the mess up. Yeah, we'll, we'll ask you questions afterwards. So it is a cleaning robot. Its intelligence level for cleaning houses is very low. Um, it, it is your traditional. Is that a Lego? It's your traditional um vacuum pot, and I just figured out you can open the top. Um, it has two brush, well, two roller brushers on the bottom, and a little brusher here. These are driven by the drive chain. These that are, these are driven, and there's like a little thing here, and it's our steering wheel, and it can detect um, drops. Um, not exactly amazingly, because we have a pretty good drop, and he always gets stuck on it. So I do not think if you buy one of those, that's if you if that's the only reason you buy it. It's not gonna really work. This is a, you see it's like a little bumper. You can squeeze it, and I'll show you in a little bit. That is to, sh that is to tell itself as in a wall. So if it was on a wall following mode, it will hit that. Here's the little remote. Um, this is not one of the ones, it has a remote, so you can steer it like this. Or you could push this button and it will go off by itself. It can do a spiral. It can do a edge clean right here which can go along the edges and a room clean. You can set schedules, only one schedule. <laughs> and then you can push this button and it will go home. <laughs> I didn't mean to put the S on schedules because then they can only do one, so excuse my grammar. Um, so uh, basically it just cleans your house. There's a button on and off on the side and a bunch of little things on the front. So I guess I'll demonstrate a few of the mods, modes. Um, it comes with a little station for charging, and when it's at a battery or when you push this button, it will try to find its home. And when I say try, because it is very bad at trying its home, finding its home, I usually have to get it with a, in with a range of about two inches before it can actually find it. Even, maybe even one. Well, it's a robot. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate spiral first, so it's going to spiral outwards. It's not going to just stay in one circle. So as you can see, after one circle, there it is. See, it's going a little bit bigger. Now, this model actually, in a carpet, if it's really hard to move, the light will blink, and it will improve its speed and ability to step up, and you can also push this button, and it will go faster. That's spiral mode. There we go. Room cleaning mode, I mean, uh, edge mode. Push it. And see if this was the edge of your wall, it's gonna hit it, it's gonna turn, and it's gonna go along your wall, bumping it every so often to make sure there's still a wall there. And if this is a corner, see it's bumping it because if there if 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 it were just going straight, it wouldn't realize that there was a corner there and it should keep going along the wall. That's why it bumps every so often. And then room clean is basically maniac mode and he really just goes anywhere. So once it here, I'll explain that. Um, oops, hit something. I'll keep it going this way. It doesn't. Okay, it's gonna hit the my hand basically, and it's just gonna turn that way, hit that, and then turn that way. Just gonna keep it for hitting your drink, and then basically that's it. Um, stop. Um, if you have a carpet and you want it to go under the couch, it is extremely thick a lot thicker than other ones so you might have to move the carpet every single time it wants to go under one for example that is moved a lot that way so he cannot move under there see he's stuck but this one has less on it okay and also going backwards he's very horrible going backwards as you can see he will fit under there because there's no carpet there and there he goes perfectly and then he can Backing up is a very foreign subject for him. That's Giotto. Thanks for watching. See you next time.